Hey guys, even here at this video we're gonna begin with Phil Heat, physique update or arm update, he's just doing some bicep curls and his arms do look pretty good and I'm gonna be brief about this update because he posted another one just like this a few days ago, maybe a week ago, but there was that story that he posted that got us really worried because he looked really downsized, like he lost all of his gains, but now after seeing this video it doesn't seem like that. Phil Heath, he's not a bodybuilder with a large frame, and in the offseason, if he doesn't want to grow more muscle, he's not gonna be huge year-round, he doesn't need to be, because he has the muscle memory, he can relax in the offseason, try to refresh his body, work on his stomach, and then, when it comes to showtime, he can get the muscle back, get the density back, he can do that for sure, he showed that to us in 2020, so him not being full-blown, not being super big in the offseason does not mean he's retired or anything, He's just taking it easy probably before the next show and when he starts prepping he's gonna blow up and he's gonna look great. As long as he fixes that stomach issue he can do very well and very well for Phil Heath is winning another Mr. Olympia title. What about Phil Heath's maybe biggest rival of all time? I mean yeah he's known for his Kai Green rivalry but Kai never was able to beat Phil Heath. Sean Roden however beat him in 2018. And this is him right now and this is his physique update. So it's like the polar opposite of Phil Heath, he's big, he's huge, but he's a little bit too chubby. And that is a great spot for Sean Rodden, I mean he's always talking about this. If he's big in the offseason, that's great, that's what he wants to be. If he's too small, then that can be troublesome, but if he's too big, he can get lean easily, easily, because he always brings great level of conditioning to the stage and he's always really chubby in the offseason. But as long as he's big, it means he has the muscle, it's all, it's all about just dieting down, and he can do that no problem, and he looks absolutely humongous at this point. I don't know if I ever saw him this big in the offseason. So it seems like this past few years, since 2018, let's say two and a half years, it seems like he grew, it seems like he made progress, a lot of progress. So he's not getting any younger, for sure, and I hope Mr. Olympia will let him compete as soon as possible, because in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I don't know about you guys, what do you think, but if you follow my channel, you know that I think that he has probably the best physique in the bodybuilding world right now. When he's spot on, and he was spot on a few years ago, I think 2018 version of Sean Roden beats B. Grammy at his best 2020, also Brandon Curry at his best 2019 and 2020, also I think Kai Green can't really come back that much, that he looks better than Sean Rodden in 2018, and Phil Heath, I don't see him improving that much to be able to beat 2018 version of Sean, and also Flex Lewis, Heidi Chopin, William Bonek and the others, it's debatable I guess, but I personally do have Sean as my favorite bodybuilder of today. Okay, next we have Danny Yunen, he's a top classic physique competitor, at the Mr. Olympia he was in top 6 I think few years, and uh, now he's asking us a question, classic physique, man's physique or 212? He grew, he grew a lot, so man's physique, nah, he's not gonna be doing man's physique, he grew everywhere in the legs as well, so he looks bigger than before and I don't think he's gonna be doing uh, a smaller division, of course. Classic physique, why would he ask us about it? He's already in classic, so the only logical explanation here is he's doing 212, and he also adds, y'all don't know what's cooking. So he's apparently switching to bodybuilding, to 212, maybe even the open, I don't know, he looks big right now, for sure, I already talked about this in my previous video, he, he definitely gained a lot of muscle. This arm right here and this shoulder do not belong to a classic physique competitor, they do belong to a bodybuilder, so it's gonna be 212 it seems, and he looks shredded, so it's gonna be probably one of the shows that are happening very soon, it could be like Indie Pro, maybe even New York Pro, I don't know what his plans are, but it seems like he's gonna be competing very soon because he's really lean, and in the off season he packed on some serious tissues, so he's huge right now, and it seems like we're gonna have another top Olympian in classic physique moving to bodybuilding or the 212 rather, so I'm excited to see what he looks like as a bodybuilder, but with the new t-shirt he added and with his frame, the way he has the genetics, the shape and everything, I think he's gonna do very well in 212. Alright, next one is rather interesting, it's definitely very curious, a Rolly Winkler posting a, a photo in a gym and he's saying shout out to the big iron gym down here in Seattle for allowing me to train again after 7 weeks unable to train, 
due to the lockdown in my home country. So what Rolly is saying that is that he hasn't been training for 7 weeks. And this is what his Instagram looks like right now. Let's check what he was posting the past 7 weeks. Here is a, a gym photo. He's doing some traps probably. Oh, hey, there is another one in the gym. He's just putting on the belt, preparing to start working out. Uh, here is also him holding a belt. Uh, here is him in the gym, sitting on a bench, pumped after doing some shoulders probably. Oh, there's another one doing some lunges with, with a friend or whoever. Uh, there is a few more. Oh, here, oh, how many photos are there? Oh, here's him. Here's a video even of himself doing some back. And he looks probably the same. I mean, the conditioning is the same and everything. And I've been making the photo updates, video updates of Rolly Winkler saying that he looks like this and that and right now. And there's a whole bunch of photos of him in the gym in the past seven weeks. And he's saying he didn't train for seven weeks because the gyms are on a lockdown. Are all these old photos? What is going on here? He is a pro bodybuilder. Somebody had to let him train in their gym. I mean, he's a top Mr. Olympia almost winning bodybuilder. So, yeah, I don't think that he didn't train for, for seven weeks. He is probably trying to hide the fact that somebody let him train there illegally. And also, there is no chance in hell he can look like this if he's not training for two months almost. Yeah, I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. I don't think so. So, whatever is the reason why he's saying this, I'm not sure. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. But apparently, it's not the case. Come on. Come on. No way. No way. Alright, next one is also very interesting, Lila Brade, at the age of 61, shows his legs, shows his conditioning, where is the skin? He's skinless, he's absolutely peeled. And this kind of stuff doesn't happen by accident. Sure, he probably has a fast metabolism and he's probably uh, not eating too much, but I'm sure he's really dieting very strictly and he's training also very hard and doing cardio and everything. I don't think he can maintain this kind of body fat percent by not really trying hard. And also, he has that old man skin. When people get old, that their skin gets thin, and that's why uh, it looks, you know, this, this, this uh, see-through basically. So it's really impressive to see his legs looking uh, this big as well, and this condition, this shredded. So he he never looked this shredded probably ever. He doesn't have the fullness that he used to have when he was younger, but he does look super impressive at the age of 61, Lila Brada. How about a quick New York Pro update? And we have Blessing Avodibu, who looks pretty shredded at this point, you can see his legs, the vascularity, and you can see his back right here, and the arms and everything, he's also two weeks out of Indie Pro, and uh, he is getting really conditioned at this point, so I'm very excited to see what Blessing is gonna look like shredded, finally, I never really saw him completely peeled, it's gonna be an interesting thing to see. But, unarguably, it's gonna be much more interesting to see him compared to Nick Walker, because these two guys created this crazy rivalry, everybody's talking about it, and this is Nick right now, and he looks absolutely f ridiculous, ridiculous, I mean, take a look at this guy, he's so round, he's so full, Matt Jansen, his coach, posted this photo, and I'm guessing he's on heavy carbs right now, they probably tried some carving up to see what he's gonna look like, and he looks crazy when he's full. So, he looks shredded, I mean, look at the legs, look at the conditioning, look at the abs, I mean, everything, he's just really peeled, and now he looks full, and he looks absolutely ridiculous, and I do have him as my top pick for this year's New York Pro, I am excited to see what he looks like next to Blessing of Audio, but I don't think he's gonna be a top two, I'd rather see Hassan and Justin Rodriguez in that top three, but I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen when they stand next to each other and what is gonna be the difference between their, their physiques. Maybe we are surprised, maybe actually Blessing looks much better than we expect, than I expect, so I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen with that, but Nick right now looks absolutely crazy. And finally, we have an update of William Bonick. Now, it's been a while since we saw an update of his and in this one right here, he looks significantly downsized. So he's probably also trying to improve his midsection, because in this in this photo, obviously he's training his abs. But look at the size. I mean, of the of his chest, of his arms, of his legs as well. He doesn't look his old self. I mean, he's a, a, a tank basically for his height. He's really really thick. He has a lot of muscle usually. But right here in this photo, he looks really small. I mean, look at the lats as well. He's completely melted. I don't know what was going on the past weeks or months. I don't know if he was able to train or did he have some kind of surgery or what is going on. But he looks shredded, but much smaller. And his caption says, I need to forget what's gone. Is he talking about his gains? 
and appreciate what still remains and look forward to what's coming next. So is he talking about his muscle? Is he talking about the muscle that he lost and he needs to forget about it? Maybe it's just the angle again. Maybe he didn't really lose a lot. Maybe he lost a little. But you will agree he does not look massive. No, he does not look massive. He looks downsized significantly. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.